everybody. Um, I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been for like the last week. So first of all, when I did the artwork, I knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot, uh, simply because, you know, religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. But I also didn't mean to like mock. This wasn't like a you to you people um, to the Christians. Like you know, it wasn't. It was not that. It was literally me saying, "Oh, I'm back." I'm back like Jesus. Like that was like the whole thing. I'm not the first person to dress up as Jesus. I'm not the first rapper. I'm not the first artist and I won't be the last. Um, and I know like given my history with, you know, the call me by your name video, anything that I do related to religion can be seen as like mockery. That just was not the case with this. Lil Nas X's new single and music video, which appear to mock Jesus, have sparked significant outrage among Christians. This kind of provocative behavior is not new in the entertainment industry, where artists often push boundaries to create buzz and generate discussion. Here are some key points to consider about this situation. Purposeful provocation. Lil Nas X's actions seem designed to elicit a strong emotional response from Christians. This is a common tactic in the entertainment industry to gain attention and drive engagement. Mocking religious symbols. By using religious imagery and themes in a way that many find disrespectful, Lil Nas X is tapping into deep-seated beliefs and emotions, ensuring a significant reaction. Some skeptics believe that his enrollment in a Christian institution might be a publicity stunt or an attempt to gain sympathy and rehabilitate his public image. And I will say, though, with the communion video, with me eating the crackers and juice, I, uh... I thought that video was going to be the video to lighten the mood, to take it down like less serious or whatnot. I thought that was something that we all wanted to do as kids or whatnot, but I didn't understand the idea of, um, you know, the reality of what it is. You know, it's me eating the commune, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's blood and, and bones or something like that. I don't remember com completely, but um I did not mean it to as like a cannibalism thing or whatever the freak. But I do apologize for that. I will say I am sorry for that. That that was overboard, though. I'm, I don't agree with all of Christianity's rules or whatnot. I know not everybody follows Christianity by the book 100 percent or, you know, the world would be a lot crazier. Um, but I do apologize for that. Uh, what was I going to say? This is not like to try to get everybody on my good side or whatnot. This is more so to clear my own head about my own decisions. I know, I know like, you know, I, I messed up like really bad this time. Many Christians feel deeply hurt and offended by the portrayal of Jesus in a mocking manner. For believers, Jesus is a central figure deserving of utmost reverence. This situation often leads to calls for boycotts, petitions, and public statements from Christian leaders and organizations. Um, and I can act unbothered all I want, but it's, it's definitely like taking a mental toll on me. Uh, what else do I want to say? Um, I know this is not going to be like an immediate, like swift, everybody like moves forward or whatnot, but I do want my Christian fans to know that I am not against you. I was put on this earth to, you know, bring people closer together and promote love. And like, that's, that's who I am. I'm, I'm not like some, I'm not like some evil demon guy trying to destroy everybody's values and stuff like that. That's, that's not me. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah. Um, and also with the video, there's no disrespect there. I thought me clearly not being on the side of the devil in that video was the, I don't know, was was like there was an understanding there that I'm not like trying to diss uh, Christianity. Um, what was I going to say? What else? Uh, this is this is this is also this is not like something I wrote down or whatnot. This is something off the top of my head. I'm trying to get out. Uh, lastly, again, I I hope. Sooner or later, we can move forward, and I'm excited for the rest of uh, 
this era and things I have planned. And I'm sending you guys love, I'm sending my fans love. I'm sending the people um, who I heard love. Um, the controversy raises questions about the balance between artistic freedom and respect for deeply held beliefs. While artists have the right to express themselves, there is a line where such expression can become deeply offensive to others. These incidents contribute to broader discussions about the limits of free speech and the responsibilities of artists toward their audience. This isn't the first time an artist has used religious imagery provocatively. Similar controversies have surrounded other artists and performances, often leading to widespread debate. In the age of social media, such provocations can quickly become viral, amplifying both the artist's message and the public's reaction. The skepticism surrounding Lil Nas X's shift towards Christianity highlights the broader challenges faced by public figures who undergo significant personal transformation. While it's important to approach such situations with caution, it's also crucial to extend grace and the possibility of genuine change. Oh, I didn't see this there. I'm sorry, guys. Lil Nas X is being sued by Nike. In April, Lil Nas X released an unauthorized custom Nike Satan shoe inspired by his new song. And this landed him in some legal trouble with Nike. Lil Nas X is soon to be appearing in court, but it doesn't seem like he's too worried about that as he continues to pick fun at the court appearance on TikTok. He even jokes about there being a single drop of human blood in each shoe. Provoking outrage can be a strategic move to increase visibility and drive up views, streams, and sales. Controversial content often garners more attention than less provocative material. Some artists use provocative themes as a form of personal or political expression, aiming to challenge norms and spark conversations about broader societal issues. The controversy surrounding Lil Nas X's new single and music video is a complex issue involving artistic expression, religious sensitivity, and cultural dynamics. While the intention to provoke is clear, it also opens up important conversations about the role of art in society, the limits of free speech, and the need for mutual respect in a diverse world. Lil Nas X's actions have sparked important conversations about the influence of modern entertainment on young audiences and the responsibilities of public figures. By addressing these concerns through parental guidance, education, community support, and encouraging responsible creativity, society can better navigate the challenges posed by provocative and controversial content in the media. Instead of reacting with anger alone, engaging in constructive dialogue can be more effective. Understanding the motivations behind such actions and expressing why they are hurtful can foster better communication. Supporting artists and media that portray religious figures and themes respectfully can help promote positive representation and counterbalance provocative content. Emphasizing the core values of faith, such as compassion and forgiveness, can help navigate the emotional impact of such provocations. Praying for and extending grace to those who offend can be a powerful response. Strengthening community bonds and providing a space for collective healing and support can help mitigate the hurt caused by such provocations. Sharing positive aspects of faith and focusing on community building activities can reinforce resilience. In conclusion, while Lil Nas X's actions have undoubtedly caused pain and outrage among many Christians, this situation also provides an opportunity for deeper reflection and dialogue about the intersection of art, religion, and societal values.